Hey everybody, Control Alt Silent here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Concluse 2. This is an action adventure indie horror developed and published by Studio Snowspot and T. Allen Studios. And this is the second of the games. I have never played the first. I have no idea what to expect. So without further ado, let's get into it. Never forget that night. It was the worst night of my life. It was the night that changed everything. Seven years ago, my sister killed herself. We found her hanging from a beam in the garage. Our family was never the same after that. Now, all these years later, as I search for my missing wife, the same feelings of isolation and loss are returning. I need to find answers. I need to find Carolyn. All right, I guess we're into it. Um... So I will say the voice acting. Oh, cool. That's a safe spot. Uh, the voice acting leaves a little to be desired and the you stare up at the big illuminated letters of the Edison Hotel sign. Um, could this place hold any clues to Caroline's whereabouts? Okay. Uh, voice acting leaves a little to be desired. The pacing of the opening cutscene is a little on the slow side, but if it is supposed to be mirroring the first game, then I don't know what, uh, I don't know anything about that. So F is your torch. E is your interact. Uh, obviously mouse to look around. Broken. Those are always broken. I don't think I've ever been to a place that had these where they actually work. Uh, there's enough space for six digits. Well. Uh. Okay. Um. How about we play a game? Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Dun, dun. Nope. I got nothing. How do I back out? Oh, uh. Apparently, you escape. Okay. Door is locked. Keypad. So we have to go down the creepy darkness into the fog. Yep, that's broken, too. Of course it's broken. Okay. What the hell is that? That looks like an obake. A lot of the YouTubers that I watch, they call them obakes. Um, okay, we'll just, we'll just, there's blood, okay. Um, we go here, and then we turn around, and it's there. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. I really hope there's no combat in this game, but I get the feeling, based on the fact that there's a health and stamina bar at the top of the screen, that I'm gonna have to fight people, and I hate that. And what the hell is that? The silhouette is burned into the chair. There's an overwhelming scent of burnt hair. A broken watch. Okay. 
this kind of game is definitely not my style. I am not a huge fan of these overly retro looking games. Can't go this way yet, but there's something in there. We'll go back this way and press shift to run. So I know I'm gonna get blindsided. Hello? Was it this way? I guess not. Okay. Mush mushy. Answer it, damn it. Why is my heart beating like that? Is there a monster behind me? Okay. Um, in a spirit of complete, full, and terrifying disclosure, um, this is like the fifth scary game that I have recorded uh, today. So I'm a little on edge <laughs> already. <laughs> Um, so if I flip my shit, you know that, uh, it's been a long time coming. Telescope requires a quarter, and of course I'm poor. I just had to call daddy for money. Yeah, yeah. Requires a quarter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, seriously? Um. Say what you will for retro. This one, can I crouch? I can't crouch or anything. Um, I don't like retro anything personally. It just doesn't, doesn't speak to me the same way it does others. And wow, that, I, I climbed that fast. Holy crap. And, ooh, fishing rod. I like fishing. Um, uh, I can equip weapons. I'm not okay with this turning into a, a horror game. Uh, what, 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 what? Oh, scroll wheel. Okay. And so I can do that. And apparently I can crawl through the floor. Um, Cause that makes complete and total sense. Oh, that's the hatch. Okay. So that takes me back down. Um, Here's the small box of wires. Sleep lighthouse bulb. It has a, of course it has a place for a key and I don't have a key of any kind. There's three bulbs that I need. Jeez. Ugh. I wonder if I'm actually going to get to do all of that in the demo. Uh, is that my footsteps? Oh, that's god awful. Can't close the door. Can't see anything. But I have a weapon, so you know a fight's coming. Padlock. Um. Okay, running over here. I'm saving this. Um, good. It, it. There we go. Save it. Okay, can I fish? No, this is literally for smacking something. Oh. Oh, a quarter. Well, shows how observant I am. Now I need to go back up here and make sure somebody didn't forget their cell phone because, you know, I could always use one of those. Not quite sure what time period this is supposed to take place in, but uh, 
Can I just smack this off? Or am I supposed to come up through the sewers? <sighs> Alright, so I know what we need to do. We need to go and look out one of the quarter-operated telescopes. But do we pick left or right? Left or right? I need to... I have a little control panel on my desk. I need to program a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a dice roller and have just like an entire bag of Dungeons of Dragons dice. All right, three, four, six is the first three. And there's gotta be another quarter cause I'll need one for this too. Oh no. I will be back with you guys once I've found the damn quarter. All right, finally found the damn quarter. It was uh, apparently right here on this thing all, the whole time, and I know I can just hear you guys screaming in the comments already. That, uh... Ew. Trash can's full of... <laughs> guts. Uh... I could hear you guys screaming the entire time that the quarter was on that bench, and I wasted all my time, and blah, 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 but... <sighs> So five, two, one is the last six. Come on. Five, two, one. So three, four, six, five, two, one. Three, four, six, five, two, one. Three, four, six, five, two, one. I'm going to put it up on the screen so that uh, we don't forget. Three, four, six, five, two, one. Aha! Okay, so we got the door open past the uh, absolutely immense pile of blood and blankets. And uh, yeah, so uh, in case you guys haven't figured it out, this game is completely in black and white. Um, but okay, what's this? Carolyn is on the roof. Well, I guess I have to get to the roof, which means I'm going to have to fight some terrible, terrible bad guy. What's this? Dead fish. Okay. Um, do I go left or right? I am definitely going to have to install that program so that we can randomize when I don't want... Oh, Jesus, I thought that was a dude sitting there. Scared the crap out of me, handle. Or armrest. A book of illustrations. You can't find a text, but there's a title. No, or nor, nor a title. As you flip through the pages, you get a vague impression that it's a children's book. So many of the illustrations are otherworldly and disturbing. When there is text, and what might be text, it is sharp, halting spires interlocking and connecting to each other, almost bug like in appearance. The creatures draw inside the pages are so strange and foreign, you have to stop and catch your breath. Maybe it's best not to read this. I like how it took him that long to come up with it. An empty baby carriage. There better not be a baby or I'm done. Like, done, done. Okay, I don't see anything else up here. So down we go, I guess. The tackle box is locked up tight because, of course, you're going to lock up your tackle box and then leave it down at the pier. A mud-like substance kicks the inside of the trash can. There is hair and teeth in the mixture. Ew. All right. Ah, we're at the bar. Good. I could use a drink. 
bartender. I will take a Porter's, uh, three fingers of Porter's peanut butter whiskey, please. It's been that kind of day. You would not believe what I have done. So far, I have, uh, tried to find my wife and that has gone up rusty paper. But, ooh, but I can open that tackle box. I'll be right back, bartender. Put it on my tab. There we go. There is a key. Bulb key. <laughs> Bulb key three. So I have one of the three keys for the lighthouse. And now I get to... What is that? A mutilated ear with a hook. As a fishing lure? What the hell are you fishing for? Broken, of course. Why am I not surprised? There's a trail of blood leading to the suitcase from the water, I think it said. From the suitcase to the water. Okay, so something crawled out. A book titled uh, Fishing in New England. Fishing on the dock or pier, you equip a fishing pole at the end of the dock or port. If there are multiple ports, check each for the rest of fishing. When casting your line, be mindful of your surroundings. You don't want to injure yourself or anybody else nearby. A fishing pole can be a deadly weapon if used incorrectly or with malice, so be careful. You don't want to rip somebody's eye out. Now, that is actually true. If you have a fiberglass fishing pole and you skillfully wield it, kind of like a rapier or a, a fencing foil, they can actually be quite deadly. Um, so that is a an actual fact not just some bs that this game is trying to spout fishing poles are engineered to be very uh very sturdy like that that's why i always find it funny when somebody makes like an ugly stick reference because an ugly stick is a brand of fishing pole so if you say somebody got smacked by an ugly stick that would actually hurt like hell is that a bonsai tree Uh, I don't need to eat it, but thank you, Resident Evil plant. Vomit-like substance. And more blood. <sighs> so, what? Rotting garbage and maggots. Is there... What am I missing? Unless I have to go all the way back to the lighthouse now with the key that I have. And there'll be something in that box that'll get me to the next spot. Okay, we'll just trust that. Or this is just tricking me in going back so that I finally have to enjoy combat. And I do say enjoy with every bit of irony. Let's just try and fish. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Um, I wasn't... I was totally just joking, but... So, that one had nothing. The second one had the second lighthouse key, so we're going to go and save because I'm a wuss. And I really don't want to have to do all of this over again. Yes, we're still on the exterior. Now we're going to go down to... Ah, uh, this is going to be like one of those bosses in a Dark Souls video game where I go to fish and something horrible comes out. A digital videotape wrapped in airtight called Ducky's Playhouse? Who the hell is Ducky? And why does it sound like an evil Barney knockoff? Okay, let's hope that this last pier has something in the water. Something that will not eat my face. Haha! 
now I have all three bulbs. What's going to chase me or something? Nobody? Really? I don't know if that's more unnerving or if the idea that that floating jerk is uh, out there. Okay. I put it in to a small box and it's powered up. That is the smallest generator I have ever seen in my entire life. I want one. Okay. Okay, not what I was expecting. Some kind of thermonuclear fueled EMP. Oh crap. You struggle to maintain consciousness, your body feels heavy. What the hell just happened? You know, my flashlight is about as good as a uh, Apple Watch flashlight. So now that I have seemed to uh, teleport to hell. Let's see how horrible this is gonna be. It's a record. So, yeah, I can use that because everybody knows those work so well when they're warped and damaged and stuff. Okay. This game is gonna get really horrible really quick. Goat is slimy and infected. I crawl through the gap in the fence because that see what the hell what are those what is that the large industrial machine already seems to be activated So you push the button and nothing happens. So what's this? A rusted key that says it's the bulb key. Okay, machines one and six are broken. Specialized wrench needed. Toxic fumes are increasing the in, in intensity. The machinery is strange. So I need a special wrench in order to finish fixing machines one and six. Just a chair. Man, it is so dark. I will try and turn it up a little bit for you guys in post, but uh, I don't know if the atmosphere of the game will allow it. Okay. So here. Oh, oh, that's a gross sound. Seven. So did I just jump a reality or something? piece of the walkway has been retracted. Maybe there's a way to pull it towards you. Let's use the fishing line. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm good. I'm good. Now what's going to eat me? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a light post. Not very effective light post. There's a... Something. Jeez, what? Where am I? What the hell happened? We're going to save before anything too horrible happens. Ah, on a record. Eight, three, six, seven, five, four, reversed. Four, five, seven, six, three, eight. Remember that. Four, five, seven, six, three, eight. Four, five, seven, six, three, eight. Yes, remember that. What is this? The spiral menu within? Um, that's from a Eastern philosophy. I'm not quite sure where, but four, five. It's locked tightly. Four, five. Let's listen to this one more time because, you know, I'm stupid and I don't remember. 
I don't know why I would even want to continue, but whatever. Keypad has no power. No power, okay. It's locked tight from the other side. How very Resident Evil of you. 457638, where? What the hell's the point in coming up here? Oh, fuse box. Okay. Four, five, seven. Ah, crap. Four, five, seven, six, three, eight. Okay. Perfect. Whoa, okay. Jeez, that transition caught me off guard because I jumped through the door rather than an animation. Okay. Four, five. Wait, we already have that code. We don't need it. It's a magazine from the 1920s. Dude, I feel like I'm in the 1930s. With the exception of the fact that there was a mo modern, <laughs> a late 90s, early 2000s payphone outside. Ooh. Sturdy wrench. I picked up the specialized wrench, so now I can fix things. And of course, that door's locked from the other side, so we're gonna go back out here and fix the two pumps and get eaten in the process. Yeah? Oh no. Oh jeez. The music stopped for a second. The ambience. <laughs> ambience, ambience, whatever. Uh. It stopped and I started to panic for a second. <laughs> okay, it's already activated. So we need to find the ones with the green, which I'm pretty sure they said was one and six. Let me up the stairs. Jeez, it wouldn't let me run up the stairs for some reason. Machine spits out twisted bulb B2. Wait, did that say twisted bulb B? It did. Okay. I thought I was just hallucinating for a second. Okay. Spiral gate key. Okay, we now have the spiral gate key. And we're still missing one of the um, one of the twisted bulb keys so we're going to just save because I know how horror games go and if I just let my curiosity get the best of me then I'm going to get my butt handed to me used the spiral key okay I will say I really hate playing with music in video games and part of the reason that I hate playing with music in horror games is um, is because of the atmosphere that it creates. Uh, anyway, so we have the God something key. Nobody responds when you do that. So we have, we need the God, the God gate thing. I think it's that gate right there. And I know I'm saving a lot, but, uh, but I'm just being cautious. Uh, okay, if this were a Resident Evil game, a bad guy would come flying out of that and then I'd have to fight them with like a rocket launcher. That just so happened to be laying around. Oh, hello. Uh, please don't.
Well, thankfully, I can't actually fall. What the hell is chained up in it? Oh, is this like the plug? If I activate something here, it's going to unplug that water and drain it. Let's just wander and make sure there's no other oogie boogies. Spookies. Spooky spookies. Um. Oh, dude, I'm a little kid still. I like how I'm married, but I'm still, you know, 11. What the actual hell is that? Oh, I swear to God, if you have an eye open and you're looking at me, I'm going to lose it. Careful not to poke somebody's eye out. Isn't that what the, the thing said? Don't move. Cast your fishing line into the dark pool. This time it goes all the way to the bottom. You attempt to reel in the line, but find it stuck. After another quick length, yank. You hear the rushing of water as the pool begins to drain. Oh, crap. Mean to actually go. Okay, so I have all of the bulb keys. Uh, now I just have to get out of the nasty squishy pool. What the hell is that? Ah, uh, well, as of right now, I wouldn't necessarily call this scary, except that looks like a throne. Am I wrong? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Yeah. Yep. My uh, time today playing games has definitely started to wear. Oh no 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 no! What the hell is that? What is that thing? Nope. I'm just running. I am running the wrong way. Uh, it won't let me hit it with the fishing pole, so we're just gonna run up and do the... Oh no! No! I don't understand. It won't let me hit it. Do I just have to run from it? do with it do I have to run back in here and let this thing do something with it or trap it in the pool or sound like there's something here
like a radio. Or is that supposed to be the sound of the drain? Try to run for the... Yeah, I definitely don't get it. I can't jump down there. Can't do anything here. Let's see, is there anything in my inventory? <sighs> Not that I can use. What is that? I missing? Oh. Yeah, my bad. I didn't see it. Okay. twisted bulb and have the little generator start up again and let's shift back to the other reality shall we Definitely not sure what to expect or uh, anything at this point. Okay. That's right, those are all supposed to be empty and stuff. What the hell? How am I? How am I? Oh, hell no. What is that? Is that a boat with a radio on it? It is a boat with a radio on it. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. A well-worn axe stuck in the disgusting worm-like abomination. The creature remains motionless. I can equip the axe in the posman. Hmm. Okay, so... Axe. Okay, so why do I get the feeling that now I'm gonna have to fight stuff? Oh. Why do you sound like that? Yes. 
die, 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 die. Why do you sound like a bunch of flies and then squeak? What the hell? Oh, I can't kill you. I just have to knock you down. Oh, that sucks. Another one? Okay. That's officially uh, messed up. Where do I go? See the enemies. I have something. like a silver axe or something to double and triple check that they're dead. There's something out here now. everybody but that has been a first look at concluse 2 if you enjoyed the content leave a like subscribe all that fun stuff and thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one